These are the Voopy Voopy. What's on your mind, Daddy-O? What's going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. Did you put your deck in my hand? What we're going to be going over... What? Uh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's not right. Well, basically what just happened is I bit my tongue and I thought I split it in half. That's what happens when you talk too much. You don't even know where the things inside of your mouth are. They're there, though. I promise you. What we're going to be going over today is a Vaporesso sample. I don't know when companies do this. I mean, I get it. I do. But listen... There's not many times where I get things for free, so I'm just going to go ahead and embrace it. Because this is $40. $40. If this is $40 and I get to save so I don't have to go buy this, super nice, man. What we're going to be going over today is another device that's kind of like the RPM40, the Vinci X. Uh, the Wizmec, I think it's the RM or something. The, whatever but they all seem to have this pm in it and i was trying to think what in the hell does that mean power minutes people menstruating i didn't know but then i read the box and it says pod mod duh <laughs> there it is this is like a thing now the all-in-one jammies this whole design it seems like i guess was it the smoke that started with the RPM? I feel like there was something prior to that, but now that has gone into the world of... It, it's Remember Lost Vapor Ryan? Did that rectangle thing? The small ampacito, the smoke. They go through these transitions where, okay, these are successful. Let's just go with the style, and now we're into this style. I guess that's a good thing because it's always diversifying. But I don't know how many people out there that are actually still using that older rectangular style. And fun fact for you, my favorite one out of all of them was that little smoke jammy the silver one i cannot remember the name of it i'm looking at it i just i i don't i can't i got nothing trinity alpha was that it that might have been it whatever it is it'll be up here so that's what we're going to be going over the sub ohm pod mod by vaporesso it looks very very similar to the geek vape ages boost the top section the bottom section of the vinci x they're all going to look similar, though, so it's not like I could really hold this company accountable for it because of that whole Lost Vape series. And then prior to that, you had the Ego AIOs, and then you had the Smoke Pens. I'm telling you, these companies, they know when something's successful, and they're like, okay, well, if you're going to do that, we're going to do that, too. It's not necessarily a clone situation. It's just, that's what's hot. And this is what's not. You don't see anybody coming out with that rectangular jam anymore. They're trying to come up with that new next design. And I guess this is it. So without further ado, let me bring this down. I think this is just called the PM80. I'm going to assume that's what it's called. Yep, Target PM80. Target, they, oh my God. You remember the original Vaporesso Target? Those things sold as if I just laid out drugs all over the counter. They were, hmm. I don't have an original, but they, it was kind of elongated, came with a tank, then they made the mini version, but the original was the big one. Let's not get too far off track. Let me bring this down, show everything inside of the box, put some juice in it, let you know my final thoughts on an AIO. They're calling it a pod mod, but by federal regulations, this is not a pod, so you can no longer argue with me. So without further ado, flip it. All right, guys, so what we're looking at is the red and black rendition. Obviously, we're going to be going over the black. However, the red looks like it has that resin type of acrylic situation over here. So let's do it. Sample, pod mod. Ignore the upper right. That's just something Vaporesso does. Right down the front, target PM80. Then on the side of the box and nothing. Other side, some of the things that are included and they're featuring on it. 80 watts, super impressive there. On the back side of the box. Now, this, I guess this may change because this is a little bit desolate back here on the back so some of the things that are included again contains batch numbers totally empty as well as the box below it scratch and sniff going to be walnut apple walnut that's when you have a knot inside of your wall that has apricots inside of it that's what that's going to taste and smell like so let's open it up here we go
the device. An extra pod or empty one, so we're not going to need that. Very rarely do you see them actually come with an extra empty pod. Two coils. On the bottom of the box, you're going to get a USB to charge a device. You're going to need that. A validity, authenticity, authentication. Okay, something to verify that that's real. That's going to be a warranty card and probably some promotional information on the inside there and then a user manual. Don't need any of that, but what we do need is the extra coils, just in fact that the coil does not be inside. I don't know what's wrong with my words today. If there's no coil, that is okay. So, before we go over the device, let's take a look at the two coils. 0.2 mesh is 45 to 60 watts. Very, very nice, really big port, so that tells me this isn't going to be a mouth-to-lung type of device. Then the 0.3 is actually lower power, 32 to 45, same type of mesh configuration. This is really attractive. See, I just touched that and put my fingerprints on it. Now, this is, in fact, a sticker, but it's a pod jammy. Wow, that is really nice. See, I'm getting my fingerprints all over it. Micro USB here on the bottom. The battery is, in fact, built in. Pop this off. Magnetic, no coil on the inside. All right, one, two, three, four, five. You know, Vaporesso, was it the PD270? I always get Vaporesso and I joint mixed up. But Vaporesso, wow, that screen. Oh, my God. Vapor Resso made a 21700 that I adored so much. Super compact, really nice screen. This as well, check that out. So you're up and down. Literally, it goes to 80 watts. And once you go up from 80 watts, it does not round robin. So I'm bringing it on down. I feel like Bree is going to lose her basket over this because that is extremely, extremely attractive. Puff, a triple digit, wish that was four or five, and hopefully that doesn't reset when the battery goes down. One, two, three. So you have lock, one, two, three, unlock. I don't really know if there's any pods that actually have temp control. It is shiny though, so what's gonna happen here is this is going to get scratched up very, very easily, and you could see what's happening just by me touching it. Now, if they do have a matte version, that's gonna obviously be better if you're worried about looks and appearance, but let me just give you a side-by-side -side comparison since this is kind of the new style that we've been going to. What I wanna show you real quick is just the side-by-side -side comparison so you can really gauge the size of this versus the other products. So what you're looking at here is, this doesn't have anything in it, I just put the coil in, but there you go. So what you're looking at is the Vaporesso PM80, which is essentially, if we're going from the fire button up, you can see that that's not the smallest in depth, but this is the smallest, this is the RPM by Smoke. The Vinci, which is a little bit shorter in depth than this one, but it's a little bit fatter. The Vinci X, which is obviously vastly different in size. We're just going to take that one out of the equation because it does have an external battery. And then the Boost over there. So the Boost is obviously much taller than that of the Vaporesso. However, they do have very similar shapes. But again, you can see that the Vaporesso is, again, smaller than the Boost. And this is the thing that I absolutely tore up. I don't know if the review is up for it, but if it is, it will pop up in the corner there. So, extremely simple device. It is magnetic to fill this up on the bottom. You have a little grommet. You're going to pull that up and fill it right there. So, you have a 3 milligram base on the inside of there. It is a little bit thin. It's a 70-30, but we're going to let that sit for about 5 minutes, and then we'll bring it back on top. There it is. You can see one of the biggest flaws of this just right off the jump is an aesthetic thing. This black chrome that they got going on is extremely fingerprint heavy, and it is picking up at the proper resistance down there at 0.33. Look at that. It even shows you the best wattage. Let's see if it lets you go up to 80 watts regardless of what it says. Nope, it doesn't. It does the same thing that the Vupu Vinci does without the firmware. Puts you at a cap of what the max power it is. So if they do release an RBA head for this, they have to learn to not limit to what the coil can do. If anything, it would be in their best interest to remove that because if a person burns out the coil, it's going to force them to buy another one. Okay, so this is a little bit crazy here. Check this out. So this right here is a Vaporesso pod, the one that I just filled up. But... Now, this is the other one, the spare one that it came with. And check this out. These are the Voopy Voopy. Let's 
related indirectly to the poopy, of course. Uh, the <laughs> What's on your mind, Daddy-O? So, uh, yeah, the Voopy coils, the Vinci jammies, okay? Now, you can see that they are Voopoo, and you'll see on the side of it. Let me show you. Zoom in a little bit. See how that says Voopoo, right? So, that's the Voopoo coil, and that right there is the other mesh coil for the PM80 by Vaporesso. Instead of it having the cutout here, you see how it's flat? These don't have that, but check this out. Goes in, fits fine. Goes on, you can see that no atomizer. Goes in, look at that, 0 0.50. Take that off, put the other one on, 0.32. So, wow. That is interesting that I, okay, so if you get this, you really like this, and you can't find the Vaporesso coils, they are a little bit different, though, because the Vupu ones come in a wide array of different resistances. For instance, these are the 0.3s, 32 to 40. Wait a minute, hold on, I didn't see that. So they're 32 to 40. This one, he's got the, let's just see if that works. It's probably going to give you the recommendation for the 35 to 45, but... 25 to 35 so yeah it for whatever reason it's because it's picking up the resistance of that coil it's not going to be as specific as what the coil states which is why they need to unlock that but that is just super interesting that you're able to use other coils with another device a Voopy vinci x or vinci regular pot it doesn't really matter but check this out here's the vaporesso coil that does not fit but this one does you see that? So it's cross compatible. Vapor Wrestle's cross compatible with Vupu, but Vupu is not cross compatible with Vapor Wrestle. How friggin' unique is that? Yeah, that is not going in because of that lip on the inside there. You see it? If that lip wasn't there, it would go in. Oh, well, good job on Vapor Wrestle, man. Seriously. Whether intentional or not, super badass. All right, here we go, back on the top with the Vaporesso PM80. A little tiny jammy black chrome situation. Got this in at 35 watts. I feel like that's a little bit too powerful. Let's start it off at 26.5 with the 0.3 coil in it by Vaporesso, not Vupu. Why do all these companies in China start with V? Vaporesso, Vupu, Vandy Vape, like what? What's the infatuation? Is it because that letter is so little used, you figure you would just take advantage? Okay. Wow. I was not expecting that. All right, here's the deal. The airflow on this is not adjustable all the way open. It's kind of like... The Vupu, but if you want to adjust the airflow on that, you kind of have two settings. You just take the pot out, you flip it around, put it down, take the pot out, flip it around, put it down. Now, I doubt that Vaporesso, when they were making this, they were like, you know what? Let's make it compatible with Vupu coils. So we kind of show up as the one-upper. I doubt that. I really, really do. However, I will say this. The fact that Vupu coils work in this is super badass. But for Vupu to not accept Vaporesso coils, I don't want to say it's questionable while I get it. And I don't really think that Vaporesso was thinking about that. It's just that you have all these different pods. Now, I can tell you that the RPM coils don't work in any of them. They're going to be extremely proprietary. Wow. I, I'm taken back by that. I like the little equalizer situation on the front of that. Really, really cool. Very open type of hit. There is a menu that I totally did not even show you. Okay, that sucks. Well, if you press the two down, I apologize for this. You have variable wattage, variable voltage, smart VW. Uh, let me see if I could shut that off. No, it is off, and it's still selecting max power. Puff, theme. Oh, look at that. You got green, blue, pink. Pink, Bree's going to lose it. She's going to lose it. We're going to go to pink. Oh, that is cute. Exit. Yeah, look at that. Bree is going to lose. She absolutely loves pink. Look at this pink. Look at her face. She's ecstatic. Pink. Hi, 
So, okay, really, 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 really pretty. It is, it is. Can you do that on the Vinci? Now, on the Vinci, with the new firmware, you're able to go into RBA mode, which allows you to boost past the power of the recommended 40 watts or whatever, and that changes the color of the screen. I haven't done that. I do have version 1.1, but there's a 1.2, and 1.0, I think, ships with the older versions or the older... Yeah, the older versions. The RPM, you can switch the themes about. So it does have that versatility. That's nice. I wish you could remove the cap of that 40 watts or 45, but you can't. It's all going to be dictated by the coil you put inside of this. Wait a minute. Let's just say you want to make this an RBA head. You get the Vinci X RBA, and now you have that with the smaller device. It is more comfortable to hold. And I know I should be comparing it to the RPM and the other ones, but why? Because those do their own coils. They do their own pods. This is essentially the best one out of all of them right now because it's cross-compatible with, whether it's by default or not, it's cross-compatible with other coils. So that, to me, shit. You can't ask for anything better than that. The target PM80 is 2,000 mAh versus the Vupu, that's 1,500. So you do the math. Which one would you prefer over the other? If you already like the Vupu and use the stock coils, I'm probably going to recommend this over the Vupu. And it's smaller. Well, it, it's not that it's smaller. It's just more ergonomically there. So if I had to rate this little pod jammy all in one i hate calling it a pod mod because it's that's not what it is yeah there's a tank on the top but it's no different than the billet box seriously that there, there's no difference the only difference is, is one a battery comes out of the other one the battery's built in but they both have tanks that are empty that you put a coil in same thing if we're going to call that a pod mod we might as well call the billet box a pod box and I can tell you that's not going to go good for anybody that owns a billet box. So if I had to rate this all-in-one type of system on a 0 to 10, because it's a built-in battery, I have to bring it down a couple notches because I prefer externals. However, when you're putting an external battery, 18650 or even 18350 inside of a mod, why don't, if this is only 1500 why not just use an 18350? because this is probably LiPo versus lithium-ion. Hmm, tough. I'm going to give this a 6.5. I am. Maybe a 7. I feel like this is probably the best type of style. I don't know. The box cube style. I don't even know what to put this under. Parallelogram. It's not what this is, because that's like a triangle without the top. Cube box. One of, if not the best cube box there is between this and the Vinci, hands down, no doubt about it. And I've kept the real. Have you?